Good afternoon, Syracuse, and welcome to your last Monday news brief of the semester. My name is Hearns Laguerre Jr., and here are today's top stories. The Syracuse College of Law held a ceremony this morning to honor Craig Boys as the new dean. Dean Boys spoke at the ceremony and stated that he hopes to expand the legal education offered at Syracuse beyond just the graduate law program. He also expanded on ways that he hopes to improve the law school in the upcoming years. Syracuse University was recently recognized by the Environmental Protection Agency for using more green power than any other school in the ACC conference. 35% of SU's annual electricity usage is now run on green power. The university is also showing an increased commitment to renewable energy. Republican presidential candidates Ted Cruz and John Kasich announced that they are teaming up to stop Donald Trump from securing the nomination. Cruz stated that he will focus his efforts in Indiana, and Kasich will work to win over New Mexico and Oregon. Trump tweeted yesterday that their alliance comes in a time of desperation. Over the weekend, North Korea test-fired a submarine-launched ballistic missile. The missile was fired off the coast of the Korean Peninsula and traveled roughly 167 miles. U.S. officials stated that the test was essentially a success and that the country must take North Korea very seriously. Now let's, let's take a look outside of the quad camp. It's currently 48 degrees outside, with the showers expected to roll in later tonight. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Tune into News Live at 6 for more coverage. But before we go, I must say it's been an honor to be your anchor all semester long. But real quick, I want to say thank you to Kate Wyatt, the best producer an anchor could ask for. That's all we have for tonight. I'm Hearns Gary Jr.